Okay, we want to write this number as a product of prime factors in index form. So, because we don't know prime numbers, um, these are the only numbers that I'm able to divide by and so on. Alright, those type of numbers, so 120, use a ladder method, so then I can divide 120, 2 shares in, so 2 into 120, 2 into 12 goes 6, 2 into nothing goes nothing, that's even, so 2 will go in again. 2 into 60, half of 60 is 30. 2 will go in again, half of 30, 15. Then, obviously, 5 goes into 15. So, 5 goes into 15 three times. 3 is in also on the list, so 3 into 3 goes 1. So, once I get a 1 year, I finished. So, 120 then can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay, when I list, I'll put them in order of size. So if I if I go divide by bigger before smaller, I'll just change it at the end. I've got three twos, so that's two to the power of three times three times five. Okay, that's the index form part of the answer. Now then, the number 168 can be expressed as that. Using this fact in your answer to part A, write down the highest common factor of the numbers 120 and 168. Now we can do this by a, a Venn diagram method. Okay, where I, I enter in the, the fact the factors for 168 and the factors for 120. So for 120, I've got 2, 2, 2, 3, and 5. 168, I've got three twos, two, 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 three, and seven. So, right, so two's in both, that goes in the middle, two goes in both, that goes in the middle, two goes in both, that's in the middle, three is in both, that's in the middle, uh, five is on its own there, seven is on its own there. So the highest common factor will be the num those numbers in the overlap times together. So the highest common factor is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8, and 8 times 3 is 24. That's the highest common factor of 120 and 168.